First, a Superstorm Sandy sweepstakes. A Long Island woman is the winner of an unusual giveaway that will help her recover five years after that storm. She won a trailer that put a roof over her head during construction. There is a catch, though. She has to pay it forward. TV 1055's Valerie Castro has our story from Suffolk County. You got it, You're my lucky auntie. Oh. You were God sent. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Calling him her angel, Celeste Rue hugged the man who, till last week, had been a stranger. It all was because somebody had taken a plate glass and had dropped it right in the middle of the street. Offering to help clean up the roadside mess, Hansen knocked on Rue's Mastic Beach home, only to discover that she was still trying to rebuild from Superstorm Sandy. We got flooded really bad. My, uh, was, I got three feet of water. The state awarded Rue grant money to raise her home, but the local school bus driver will be forced to live elsewhere for two months, left wondering how to afford a rental. But that's where stranger Bill Hansen comes in. He told me about the trailer that was in, um, in the news, and uh, he told me to uh, try to get in the list. Hansen tipped Rue off to a Facebook trailer home giveaway. A Long Beach couple who'd recently moved back into their now elevated home decided to donate their trailer to another needy Superstorm Sandy family. Over the weekend, Rue's name was chosen in a random lottery of 20 applicants. I was so touched. I was crying. I was so excited. As a condition for accepting the trailer, the donor family required that Rue pass it on to another needy family once she's through with it. No problem. I want to do the same thing that those kind people did. And even as Hansen and Rue celebrate, another stranger has anonymously agreed to move the trailer from Long Beach to Mastic for no charge. Yet another example of paying it forward. Valerie Castro, TV 1055. Ed Celeste Rue says she hopes to have the new trailer very soon. She and Hansen have lived less than a mile apart for years. Now they vow to stay the best of neighbors. Well,